So that's going to play out in teams as well. Yep, no, and as if you guys thought that neutral air was hard to deal with in Smash 4, it's even more difficult to deal with here. It's Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Oh, yeah, here we have it, Andy. Game one going to Battlefield. That neutral air is turbo boost, and we already see the projectiles coming out from this Rob as well. And speaking of neutral airs, Void coming in with a neutral air of his own, kind of uses the button quite a bit. It's a big hitbox for Ridley. Yeah, it's going to be interesting watching this Ridley and Doubles play. Even though he's a big body, he does have big hitboxes. You see that Nair, a lot of people just referring to it as the Cloud Nair going on in this game. It takes up so much space. And he's going to get hit by that arc fire, taking a lot of percent. But Ridley being one of those characters where, yes, he is a big body, but he can dish out the damage just like that. He can just ledge trap you and keep you oppressed for so long. The up smash is online, taking Athena's first stock. Yeah, ton, like you were saying, tons of damage coming through for the red team. Them not taking much themselves. And Ridley, so powerful, able to get that first kill. Now Athena trying to take this Ridley to the skies, but Void, great maneuvering off stage, trying to make it back, ends up losing his first stock. Yeah, he ends up losing all of his jumps. The blue team just so aggressive to go ahead and make sure that he cannot make it back. Ally still holding on to all of these projectiles, oh, but wow. he can't avoid everything. Getting hit by that down air and blue team taking the lead. Yeah, turn on the Jets, Hitaku with that spike right there. Starting to even out this game, but Hitaku is in at 154%. Oh, very close you to gotta look out! You got to look it out. Oh, great tech coming off from Hitaku. Oh, man. And that Nikita is one of the more impressive buffs that Snake had. So much faster in this game, able to react out of it. And there we go. Ally just holding down the ledge and taking Hitaku's first stock. Right, now he's taking <laughs> Void right back off stage as well. Hopefully, he was hoping he could take that take the stock, but unfortunately he could not. But there goes Athena's. One more is gone. Yeah, but Void also sitting near death percent right here. He's got to watch out. How's he going to make it back on stage around so many projectiles being thrown at him right now? And then getting clipped by that forward air. Athena just harassing Void off stage. Yeah, and Void hasn't landed for the last 30 seconds or so. Now Hitaku holding down the other side. We have a 1v1 situation from both characters holding down each side. Blue team starting to make a little bit of leeway right here. And Void having these neutral layers, getting away from Athena. Void, great awareness to see that she was threatening. And wow, Hitaku just covering so much space with these projectiles and making sure Athena keeps safe on these follow-ups. Athena on her final stock right now, and Hitaku just playing the stock tank role very well. Oh, Void in a dangerous spot, and he's going to hit by a down air, but he's able to avoid that, but gets caught by the Thoron instead. Void losing all of his jumps, immediately just using that upbeat to recover. And this is huge for the blue team now, sitting up with the stock lead. Void sitting at near death percent. However, Ridley, definitely a heavy boy. It's going to take a little bit more to get him off this stage. Yeah, that laser out from Rob hitting both members of the red team. Ally coming in so aggressive with that dash star, getting clipped by the jab now. Oh, wow. And now Void sitting at 140%. This 150 Ridley is smoking. after the gyro gets caught by the Thoron, and that's going to be it. Blue team having a commanding lead right now, but both of them sitting at kill percent. Yeah, this is huge for the heroes of NorCal right now. Hitaku and Athena, Dream Team Connection coming through on Ally. How is Ally going to manage to make his way back in this set? Ally able to go ahead and live, recovering high, able to air dodge right, pass it for the Nosferatu. Oh, wow. No, leading into the up air. That's going to be it. Hitaku and Athena taking that first game. What a beautiful team combo to seal it out right there in style, going for the Nosferatu up air combo. And both Ally and Void have nothing to do but kind of laugh and react at that one. Sitting down one game, and we're seeing NorCal coming through right now. Uh, I'm curious to see if Void is to be switching characters that Ridley wasn't looking too bad in the beginning, but as the game really progressed, being that big body, just getting harassed by all the projectiles being thrown by the blue team. Yeah, it looks like every time Void was launched in the air above 50%, he had no way to find his way back down, leaving Ally caught in these 2v1 scenarios over and over again. And that's not something that you would see from Pichu, however, if you saw Pichu getting hit at 50%, he would be getting blasted. So uh, there's plenty of other character options, I'm sure, that Void has in yeah, his well, pocket. He has the Roy. Mm -hmm. We've seen the Roy a couple of times. That could, that could be potentially be coming out. There is the Sheik, but I know he really hasn't been liking Sheik too much in this game. But I think for doubles, it could be a good possibility just because you have the hard-hitting Snake to take away the stocks. Yeah, Sheik's still with the amazing frame data, however. A lot of her kill setups from Smash 4, 
not as potent, not as viable in this game. However, being able to run that Sheik at point would offer a little bit more uh, frame data advantage and another way to make it through all these projectiles right now. It looks like there's a conversation going on yep. with Kotaku. Not sure what he's looking for. Maybe maybe the audio or something? No, I think he's just confirming the rules yep. and the rule sets. We are rocking two bands, no DSR, eight stage stage list. Here we go. We're going to get started with game number two in just a second. Yeah, I see the characters being selected at the moment. Cannot see who Boy is picking right now, but looks like we're just going to get right into it. I see ready to fight on the screen. Can I get that start button, guys? No, they're still discussing it. You know, I like this, you know, because the fact that Ataku and Athena wear the headphones throughout the game, they have to get all their communication done right now. It looks like these guys still settling on a stage right now, talking in between one another. No, we're, we're getting we it go. started in here. We have it. The Pichu coming out from Void. It's going to be a double-edged sword for him. Yes, Pichu being such a fast character to get in there and put on a lot of percent. But as I said earlier, such a light character can die to literally a sneeze. Yeah, he's truly the glass cannon of this metagame. Come through with some great combos, great frame data, amazing kill power actually coming yeah, but from look, look at the difference already, yep. Andy. The blue team both sitting over 60%, but so is Void. Yeah, very dangerous to be Void in this position as well, sitting at 71 and a half. He has a Cena off stage. Yet another backer is going to take away that stock. Phenomenal edge guard coming out. Yeah, this uh, Pichu seems to be working so far for this red team. Able to move a little bit more freely. Oh my god, the thunder catching Ataku, jumping, and that's two stocks away from Void. The Pichu who is the right pick. Yeah, I, I'm taking it back. This Pichu is putting in work right now, just slaying the blue team. Oh, gonna get caught by the jab, barely able to hold on. Yeah, oh my god, putting no in overtime. Heck, three stocks right now for Void. Yeah, an ally really only has to sit back and watch his teammate pretty much do everything in this game to start. Yeah, this team dynamic is actually very good because it allows Void to be very aggressive. And if Snake is able to hold on to those stocks, like Ally is known to do, Look at they're going to be in a great position. And the tail end of that Thoron is going to catch Ally, but he's able to hold on yet oh again. Oh my god, Void just won't stop this pressure on Hitaku right now. Well, there goes the forward tilt. Another edge guard. Not going to get it, but Ally on the other side gets a back row. Sending Athena right back off stage, leading into that forward tilt. And on the right side, we see Void holding down Hitaku very well. Now oh, Athena. the C4 almost catching Athena there at the edge. So close, but now Hitaku is at 127%. Athena at 98. These guys near death percent. And Void going right in the mix, right between both of them. Grenade coverage coming from allies. This is looking great for the red team. Oh, but Athena fighting right back, using that Levin Sword to get both members of the red team off of her. The up smash is online. Hitaku losing his second stock. Yeah, so no pocket share stock available for the blue team right now. Not looking too good. This thing is just running away from them right now. Void's Pichu just putting in so much work this game. Yeah, Athena has to be careful, sitting here at 150 now. She ends up getting trumped yep. and eating that F-tilt. No place for her to go right there, and Hitaku not wasting any time. Just yeah, Hitaku understanding off. there are four stocks here. Uh, you know, I'm not trying to do this as Rob. And what is the adjustment that you're going to make if you're Hitaku and Athena? This Pichu was everywhere at once and just didn't allow either of these projectile heavy characters to move. Yeah, really their game plan from game one just getting blown up because really what they wanted to do was set up that projectile wall and keep their opponents out. R with Ridley, it was a lot easier to do that just because there's nothing really for him to do to get around it. But that Pichu, as you said, Andy, so quick, so elusive, able to get behind both members of the blue team and just harass them and mess up really that wall that they try to create. Yeah, I'm loving this character choice coming from Void. We are talking about, before the set started, talking about how his Pichu is very incredible. We've seen him play individually, but now in a team setting, even though he is a glass cannon, even though he can die very early, seems to be an amazing point character as well as kill character mm -hmm. for this double setting. Yeah, no, and like I hinted at a little earlier, the fact that now Ally, as Snake, can just wait out, find the positions 
to get those kills that are set up by Void, or Void can just go get the stocks himself, but if, as long as he's able to hold on to all three of the stocks, it's going to be a great insurance point. Yeah, this has been very impressive team play coming through so far. We are right now sitting in the winner's quarterfinals with Ally and Void versus Hitaku and Athena. Plenty more action to come right around the corner. We're going to be running this thing all the way until top eight of doubles today. Yeah, so they're discussing the stage list yet again. And I do like the fact that Hitaku and Athena really take their time to make sure they get everything adjusted, everything corrected right before the match is starting. Oh, they, oh, you got to sit closer to the TV. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah you you got to see everything. Yeah, put your face you gotta in You got to feel the boy. power. Oh, yeah. No, I like it, Athena. You know, untangle them cords, too. You never know. It messes up the input sometimes. There's a, there's a squid researching. Oh, fist my bumps all around. Look at this sportsmanship. The final whisper in the ear of Athena. And we have another character switch. Oh, we got the Mewtwo coming out instead. Both really teams having that glass cannon character. Yeah, this is the character that Hitaku was rocking throughout the entirety of Smash 4 once the DLC pack hit. It didn't even matter that it was uh, pre-buffed Mewtwo. Hitaku switched early. He's been loving this character ever since. Now Void able to get back to that ledge. Even a quick attack to get back as well. Laying down that forwarder. And Blue Team actually having a great position. Kind of walling out with these Shadow Balls at the moment. Unfortunately, that Thundershock going to hit Ally. Yeah, they're trying to figure out a good way to space and pace this game between the red team right now, using those PK or the Pika neutral Bs just to open up the neutral a little bit for Ally to come through. One of fourth match is going to be catching Mewtwo there. That's so powerful, my man. Yeah, even if that wasn't Mewtwo, I think a lot of the cast would have lost the stock to Cardinals. Yeah, and our back air sending Athena right back off stage. Void keeping up this edge guard. There we go. The drag down back air still not enough. So close. Pichu just seems to have all the power in this game. Known for being more of a joke character in melee, hurting himself whenever he does an electric no, but attack. He but he is no power. joke here in ultimate again. The F toad giving him that little toe to take that stock. That kill power from this Pichu man so impressive right now. It seems like Void is just putting in all the work taking these stocks right now. Well, but Ally doing work himself. Yeah. He's getting Athena off of him. I was going to say, Ally definitely playing an amazing support role right now. Holding these stocks, throwing these grenades, covering Void from behind. And Void just so impressive at point right now. Another forward smash, almost getting the kill on Athena, but looks like Ally just lost his first stock, as did Void right there. Yeah, finally going to lose, but Ataku unfortunately taking his teammate stock with that dash attack. Athena just not ready for it. Taku taking so much damage there in a couple of interactions. Ate that back here, now sitting at 64 here at the ledge. Is he able to go ahead and get up? Yes, he is, but still having a void all oh over him. My the forward goodness. smash past that air dodge. That's going to be it. Athena left in a 1v1. This is not looking good for the blue team. Opting to not unplug their controller. This said, this is the final game. Blue team, after the strong start, just getting slaughtered by the red team right now. Void, this Pichu, what are you going to do against this thing, man? You also have a snake with Ally threatening so much as well, but he is going to eat that dash attack. Athena putting up a great fight so far. Now Athena trying to fight her way back into this. Void starting up another combo. There we go, that 11 sword, so powerful. And Void getting smacked around. And oh, he put the oh my god, Athena him. wants the grab! They want the grab! What, <laughs> what a team dynamic coming out from Void and Ally. Oh, you gotta watch out for this Pichu, man. Wait, the Sticky's on her! That's so smart! Using the Sticky on the Pichu and then allowing the Quick Attack to come in. This is some crazy team tactics that we are seeing from these two right now. However, the C4 ended up falling off. Now sitting on the corner over there. You gotta watch Harry out for that. coming out from Void. Doesn't even matter. The up tilt out from Snake and Ally. Taking the set. Oh man, that's such a hype setup. <laughs> oh my god.